Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going to Q2 of the weekly contest 471, longest balanced substring. One, hit the like button, subscribe, and join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Uh, so this one, it is just as, you know, uh, uh, straightforward if you pay attention to the constraint, which is 1,000. Uh, given that the constraint is 1,000, then you are able to do uh, a brute force, really, and square, right? And, you know, this is this is actually a very core cool idea that comes up um, uh, a very good amount of time, so you should, you know, just know it. Um, practice this. Um, and th this idea of almost like a sliding window or a sweep line, but, but instead of just a regular sweep line from the beginning, you start at every increment, right? And this will give you every subarray possibility in a in an incremental kind of way. So you could do n square and stuff n cube, um, assuming that, you know, your operations in between are relatively fast enough. Um, and for this one, that's basically it. I, I even labeled it start, right? This is the start index, and this is the last index. Um, yeah. Um, the, the key idea for this is that um, if they're all the same, if all the characters' frequency comes up the same, that means that um, there, there are a lot of ways to represent this, to be honest, right? Um, but that means that the maximal frequency, that means that they all have the same frequency, but that also means that that frequency appears for all the characters. And there are a couple of ways to phrase this. And the way that I phrase it um, is by keeping track of the MX. And what is MX? MX is the, um, the count of the most frequent element, right? Uh, so once that happens, um, yeah, uh, we keep track of that. And the reason is because if if all, if all of them has the same um, number of characters, then this is the most frequent and it is the count of every character. So that means that if you just times that by the number of distinct characters, which you can do here, then this is equal to the count where count is actually... The, the number of characters between start and end. I, I it was too lazy to kind of do the math. You can actually count should be actually you go to n minus start plus one or something, right? But but this is fine too, right? You could just increment. It doesn't really matter either way. Um, but yeah, and if that's the case, then this this condition holds. So then we just keep track of the highest count from that for that reason, and that's it. Uh, yeah. So this is gonna be n square. Um, keep in mind that this is all of one, and this is all of one, this is all of one, so it keeps everything n square and fast enough. And that's it. That's all I have for this one. Uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And I was able to get this pretty quickly, uh, uh, less than two minutes. And I was worried that I made some silly mistake, but luckily, fortunately, I did not. But yeah, that's it. And you could watch me solve it live in the contest now. Right. And it's equal to a thousand. I mean, I know I could count it. I mean, I went right to the left if mx times Four, four, two. Uh, no silly mistakes, please. I didn't. Maybe I should have double check stuff. Okay, that was a little bit too fast for me, honestly. Uh, like I probably should have slowed down a little bit. 
Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm, this contest, everything in between. Stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.